Hey guys, Braden from Adrenaline Rush Sports Australia. At Adrenaline Rush, we've created a Kite Fit program where we look at improving our abilities in the gym to then improve our abilities on the water. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the next exercise. Hey guys, Braden from Adrenaline Rush. Um, we're on the ground today, so basically the next series of exercises that we're probably going to go over, especially for the body weight stuff, is something that you can probably in, uh, implement into your travels. So if you are traveling around I and mean, you can't stick kettlebells and barbells and, and all that sort of good stuff into your travel bag, we are limited by kilos, unfortunately. But uh, we can still do a quite effective workout or you know, implement some good maintenance for our body when we do travel. Generally when we're traveling for kiteboarding, you're riding every day or as many days as you can and you do get pretty beaten up. So some of these exercises that we will be seeing in the next couple of episodes will um, definitely help you try and stay on top of that and maintain the strength. We're not really trying to improve anything as such because this is sort of like game time for us as you'd imagine, we're traveling around. But if you implement some of this, you're trying to maintain that strength over the entire trip, okay? So the first off, we're just going to start off with the scapular push-up, which is a very small part of the push-up, but it is really important. It's probably, I think, almost the most important part of the push-up. really helps build that rhomboid strength and the strength through the shoulder blades, which is where like, a lot of us are weaker in, especially if we sit down all day, we slouch, our shoulder blades lift off and we get a little bit of winging as well, or we're just tight. So this is a really effective um, exercise that you can do. So the scapular push-up is very much just like a push-up. Now what I like to do is when I set up, when I put, when I put my hands under my shoulders um, and I like to put them just out in front a little bit, okay? So I put them just out in front here. You set your feet and what you do is you come up onto your wrists. So you make sure your hands are stacked, sit on your toes. We're pulling our hips into posterior tilt. We keep our arms locked out here. Now what we're doing is pushing our um, our body up all the way or our shoulder blades around and then we're coming all the way down as far as we can and all the way back up all the way down all the way back up we're trying to make sure we're not bend bending at the elbows so as we're staying up engaged down all the way up really trying to drive those shoulder blades apart into the scapular push-up it's very much sort of just doing this You'd be surprised how hard it actually is. Um, it really helps with building that good rhomboid strength and the rotator cuff strength and just really getting the shoulder um, capsule and shoulder blade working in uh, unison. So really effective push-up variation that you can do to implement your traveling when you are trying to stay nice and healthy and injury free when you're in those crazy remote locations where hospitals aren't that close, especially good ones. Braden from Jalen Rush, I hope you uh, learned something today about the scapular push-up. Give it a go, jump on the ground right now, I dare you. Do a set of 10 and see how it feels. Braden from Jalen Rush, uh, enjoy this. I'll see you next week for another episode of the Kite Fit Program. Cheers. Check out adrenalinerush.net.au for all the links.